Do you get nervous at auditions? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah. How do you deal with the nerves? Um, I'm actually alright with my nerves. I kind of use my nerves. Yeah. Um, I used to be really, really nervous. Um, especially for like my first couple of auditions. Um, but it's actually okay. I don't get that nervous anymore. Mm. I kind of just use my nerves. How about performance? Oh, I get like for Beauty and the Beast, I got so nervous probably, but only up to maybe like two minutes before I walked on stage. Yeah. Like only just, before, <laughs> yeah. Those moments when you can't remember your first line. Yeah. <laughs> I always ran through like the beginning bit of Belle in my head just before I went on stage. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I got really nervous for, um, I was pretty nervous for the launch actually, mm. for that bit, because it was like the first time that everyone was seeing me and I was like, yeah. oh no, yeah. there's a lot of pressure here. <laughs> yeah. And then for opening night as well, mm. it was very nerve wracking, but I just, I, to be honest, I kind of focused on my family and opening night. I was like, okay, yeah. my family's here to see me. I've got to impress them kind of thing. Mm. So that's what I focused on for opening night and that kind of helped with the nerves. Mm. But yeah, I, I kind of, as soon as those first couple of seconds are over and minutes are over, it's like, yes, mm. you kind of get into it and you like, enjoy it. And you it's worked with some really good talent too in that show, didn't you? Does it give you confidence knowing that they know what they're doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Compared to what has happened in some of the school musicals that I've been in, like there's been some massive line slip ups where I've had to improvise a lot on stage mm. around people. I felt so safe on stage with especially Pat and everything. Mm. Um, I don't think there were any, there were like no major lines of hops in the entire show, mm. just because everyone was so sound in their character and knew the storyline so well. And it was just, even if something did go wrong, we could just pull it back together straight away. Yeah. Um, and it was just, it was almost like my safety net because it was just so much for me to learn. And there were so many different scenes and stuff. And it was just so good working with people who I knew I could trust. Mm. Yeah, that was... So have you ever had, in any of your, your productions, ever had one of those moments where you've stuffed it? Yeah, like, <laughs> I think it was Oliver. I can't remember if it was Oliver or Oklahoma, but there was just this moment where basically all of the main characters on stage kind of slipped up and it just went into a good couple of minutes of improvisation. <laughs> but it was along the storyline, yeah. but it was so stressful because with the school musicals that I was in as well, we only really had two shows. Like we didn't have any more than that. So it was oh, like okay. you only had two shows to do it. And yeah, it was, it was so pretty stressful. The second one was better than the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there was a moment in Beauty and the Beast actually. I think it was, op it was opening night and it was the scene um, where Pat and I, uh, well the Beast and Belle, are up reading the book and it's where they start singing Human again and we come back in halfway through Human again. <laughs> And I totally forgot what I was meant to say. Um, I think it was just like with the beginning word that I forgot, um, just a bit of the line. And I knew that it was coming up and I was just sitting there like, oh my gosh, what's my next line? And so I turned to Pat and I was like, do you remember my line? <laughs> and he was like, no. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, that doesn't help. Yeah. And so, and then I just started off differently. I started the line off differently. I just, I just kind of winged it, wong it. Yeah. But I was like, once Guinevere heard and then I kind of slipped back into the line but I just forgot it was only the one word which is when Guinevere heard and that was the only thing that I forgot and that was probably the only line stuff I had in Beauty and the Beast mm. but once I got back on track it was alright yeah. it was just that moment of panic especially because it was opening night I was like oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> yeah. so do you get to a moment or did you get to a moment in Beauty and the Beast where it was sort of your lost in the moment time where you just forgot where you were and you were just totally enjoying what you were doing yeah, that reached that. Yeah, yeah, that happened basically. It didn't happen opening night because it was just so much pressure. But I think it really happened op after opening night. Really, every show because I was just so confident in what I was doing by the like time rehearsals were over and by we'd already by the time we'd already done you know a couple of shows on the stage. Um, it just felt so natural mm -hmm. and it was like yeah like it, the lines just really came to me it. yeah it was so enjoyable and the lines just came to me so easily i didn't really have to think about it um all i had to do was stay in focus and enjoy what i was doing mm -hmm. and oh, it's the best feeling yeah it's so good <laughs> <laughs> so do you go through what a lot of people go through once the production is finished the following week is sort of like that severe letdown <laughs> it's, yeah it's sort of um, post show depression do you experience that <laughs> definitely um but i didn't I thought I'd experience it more, but I actually handled it pretty well. And I think it's because 
it was just such a massive experience and just it was almost a bit of relief once it was over like I could relax a little bit um but yeah it was definitely kind of hard just thinking oh I have nothing to do this Sunday <laughs> like, oh what uni work <laughs> yeah so it was good it was yeah I went through that but I've kind of just look back on it now and just like I'm so glad it happened kind of mm. thing yeah but it was only for the first couple of weeks after it yeah yeah so did you in rehearsal period there's a lot to learn and as you say this being your first one outside mm. of school do you have any aha moments you know things where you were uh, Jason might have been directing you in a particular way any moments where you go ah oh, that's what it means or something clicks into place and suddenly everything changes for you did you have any things like that yeah I definitely had that just um especially with Jason he was just such a great director because he gave a lot of um freedom with the character I guess and he made it he let it come really naturally and I also liked how he didn't force it too soon because I I definitely felt that it took me a while to you know really develop the character and I think it took mm, yeah quite a while until we were really r running the show I found um but there was just moments throughout rehearsals and stuff where it just kind of clicked in place with other characters and um just particular scenes and stuff but it did take a time it did take time and it almost came together once everyone was starting to bring their characters together it was almost all molding together and we were almost shaping our characters around the show and around the other people who we were working with mm -hmm. and yeah that that took a while but it did happen quite a bit like once it yeah I don't know where I'm going with this but <laughs> do you have a particular part of that rehearsal process that you need to happen to help develop your character like a part that's a part of the process that's important to your own personal process whether it be doing runs or... I think it's the runs. Mm. It's the runs and when everyone is sound in their characters, so once everyone knows their lines, I think it's basically once we get the book down mm. and we feel, yeah, we're running and we've got props as well, like the simple basic props or even just the simple set layout. Yeah. I just feel like that's when it clicks together and that's when I almost kind of let go even some... Yeah, in the rehearsal period, at the beginning of rehearsals and stuff, like I was always pretty nervous as to how people like were maybe judging how I was doing the character and stuff but once you get into that period where you're running it and you feel more confident and stuff that's really where it all comes together I found. It's community theatre so we all do it for the love of it yeah and do you find that part of it the social side the building of relationships just as important to you as the performance and learning and doing yeah. the acting part? Yeah, yeah definitely. Enjoy that? Yeah and especially with the cast that you're working with because then it just makes the relationships on stage and the chemistry on stage so much more natural and really I don't find there's any point well I guess there's point to doing community theatre you know because you love it and you get to perform but there's not really any point in doing it and not really making friendships with anyone mm -hmm. and enjoying it as mm -hmm. you go along yeah you had a proud moment um a moment you were really pleased with what you've done hmm I guess like, I think it was during the performances um Maybe even after the, for probably after the first run of the full show on stage, just kind of like, whoa, like I've actually know everything. It's like, it's working out. It's going well. I didn't forget any lines. I think it was that, like the first time we ran a show and I didn't forget anything. And I was like, yes, I got this. So it's pretty much of a high, isn't it? It's yeah. a real high. How do you relax? How do you wind down after a show? Does it take you a long time? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Usually on the way home in the car after every show, I was just like talking, 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 like about the entire show because my mum was saw like every single show. And so we just talk about the show. And I think that after opening night, I didn't go to bed till 2 a.m. just because I was so alive. And a matinee the next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was rough. So your mum coming to every show, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Yeah, well she helped with the like ushering and everything. Lovely. So yeah, front of house. And so, so having she a supportive family is important. Yeah. This. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> My brothers were a little tough to get along to the show. Just well they, it wasn't hard to get them along, but some of my previous performances my brothers just haven't even bothered to come to. Are they older or younger than I you? have one older brother and two youngers. So two theater younger. isn't their thing. It really isn't. I'm the only one in the family who enjoys it. And like even my parents aren't that musical at all. Um, but yeah, they're really supportive. And like my brothers absolutely love the show. And they came and saw it a second time. And my dad, I think, saw it four times. And mum saw it every single time.